Hey guys, it's the Bay Shogun here, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the Marvel Legends The Blob Deluxe figure. This is one of my favorite super villains. He is big, he is disgusting, and I absolutely love it. So let me ask you this: what is your favorite Marvel super villain? And if you like this content, and if you like the blob, like comment and subscribe and let's get into the video now in the comics the blob made his very first appearance in x-men number three 1964 so here we'll take a look at the figure in 2023 there you can see the front he is very rotund as well as the back of him there wow look at that we'll do a quick little grundle check Oh yes, that is Grundle approved right there. I'll go over the articulation. He can do a 360 there. Get those big ham arms around. Elbows bend. That's good, he can uh, shovel chicken into his mouth, no problem there. There we are. Legs, well, he can get those hams up a bit, but then he starts getting into a little bit of problems there. And there we go, his cankles do have a s slight bit of rotation, but I think all the grease has pretty much locked them into place there. So we've taken a look at his articulation, and I just wanted to say his head does have a little bit of movement there before his uh, Chinese phone book of chins there does get stuck. I don't know if I'm still allowed to say that in 2023, but we're just gonna leave it in there. See what happens. <laughs> okay. And for accessories, he does come with a pair of alternate hands, one making a fist, one grabbing. So you could have him reaching out for some chicken or doing a double punch on Professor Xavier there, whatever you please. And his other sculpt just has him looking uh, a little bit smug and just chilling, not quite as angry there. Let's just take a quick look at the box, you can see the awesome artwork there in the background with the X-Men logo. And I'm surprised, he looks pretty spot on to what they promised him. I was uh, really, really impressed when I opened it up for the first time. You have some classic blob artwork there and I want a blob figure as big as that guy. And then on the back, there you are. Marvel Legends, Marvel's The Blob. Very nice, Marvel folks. Legends series really nails the uh, artwork on these boxes, sometimes more than the figures, unfortunately. Okay, so now we've taken a look at the box, his accessories, some of the articulation on this bad boy, and I want to show you how he scales with some of your Marvel Legends collection. I guess the first question most people are going to be asking is, if you own the Toy Biz Build-A-Figure Blob from years and years and years ago, is it worth upgrading? Well, I'm gonna show you and we, we can take a look here. So here is the Toy Biz Build-A-Figure one. Yeah, they're about the same size. This guy is a lot bigger, um, the Toy Biz one. However, they're about the same density. This guy, his price is gonna come down a little bit because uh, this blob got released, but he's still over a hundred. I don't, I don't remember what retail it was, 82, 90, 72, somewhere. I'll put it on the screen at the end of the video. Um, he's actually really good. So if you don't have this guy, you know, this is your chance if you wanted a blob in your collection. And if you're wondering how he scales with some more modern Marvel Legends, from Hasbro instead of Toy Biz. Right here you can kind of see what we got. So here he is, this is a recent deluxe figure. This is the Cyborg Spider Woman there. Pretty good height, both pretty bulky. By the way, the Blob, much better figure in my opinion. The deluxe Modoc right there. Again, I think he looks really good. When I was doing deluxes, I did this guy. And then I got the Blob and then Modoc, and all those deluxes in a row, they were really, really good. So that was quite fun. Next up, uh, Juggernaut Build-A-Figure. I think he scales really well with the Juggernaut there. No complaints. Another Build-A-Figure, uh, Zemnu, I believe is how you pronounce that. You know what, I think he is 
better than your average Build-A-Figure, actually. Maybe not Juggernaut, but that's also, you know, Juggernaut, number one villain, and then this guy's, you know, two or three, maybe. So they're both very, very close. Uh, I think he scales great with the big boys in your collection. Okay, we've done scaling, we've done articulation, box art. I'm going to show you what I think in my final review. Don't worry about that. Here is a scaling that I should have done. With, I like using Scientist Supreme as just your average run-of-the-mill, no frills attached Marvel Legends figure. So this is how you can kind of see him with a civilian sized figure. Sorry about that, guys. So in closing, I really, really love this figure. I'm usually fairly hard on Marvel Legends and I love to hold Hasbro's foot to the flame, but they really knocked this blob out of the park. And if you've been waiting for a blob in your collection, you don't want to pay $100, $120 for this old, out of date build a figure. I'd say go get this guy. I'm giving him a 9.2. I was thoroughly impressed with my purchase. I didn't even mind paying the high price of around $70 to $80. I think he's worth it. We don't get the blob very often. The packaging's great. Everything's great. He looked just like the box. This is a rare time. Hasbro, you really knocked it out of the park. All right, guys, I'm happy we can end this on a positive note here. And remember, don't let anyone or anything ever stop you from collecting.